What's up YouTube and welcome to my Anno 1800 Let's Play under the Extreme Difficulty. So we're going to go ahead and do a new game here. And uh, I would probably want to use the Admiral logo. I know he'll be an AI in the game anyway, but um, that's quite alright. We, we can be brothers. Uh, so we'll go with the name Alex, I think that'll be fine. Um, Let's uh, get rid of the Sunken Treasures, the Passage DLC, and then we'll just stick with Botanica, Seed of Power, and Bright Harvest. So uh, let's go with the custom settings so we can make this uh, extreme. And since I am 31 years old, I wanted to go with 31 Seed. I know I'm so old, right? Um, let's go with Atoll, because I've kind of explored that map before. And it seems to be something I would really like. Um, so characters... Let's go ahead and put Admiral Vincente in there so we have all level 3 AI. Turn off the AI traders because that is contributing factor. Quest frequency, we'll put it on rare and then from there um, that is an extreme playthrough. We want to have the starting harbor as off so we can select our island victory conditions off because we will be allied with or killing all the other AI or destroying the other AI I should say. So uh, let's go ahead and start the game. I'd like to say thanks for watching, and uh, while you're here, I'd appreciate a like and a comment, or maybe a subscription if you enjoy my content, you know, because we're just coming out of my previous Let's Play. Um, and that was uh, that felt like a pretty good success. Um, it was just a normal sandbox sandbox mode, so um, it wasn't too, too difficult, but uh, it still wound up pretty good. So what we're looking for here is uh, an island that's kind of in the southwest corner. So we have a much better, safer access to the New World. And uh, by the way, if you want to know how to move your, uh, your camera kind of wherever you want, you just hold down your scroll button and kind of move it around. That's default. So um, yeah, it's uh, pretty easy to do that. So as we're moving here, let's go ahead and fast forward this. I would like to kind of get a move on here. We're looking for uh, potatoes and grain fertility. And typically the beginning islands do have that. Um, the beginning larger islands do have that. So uh, that's what this one has. This one has pretty damn good space. And uh, yeah, we will, uh, I think we'll settle here. I don't see any notifications about where the AI are settling quite yet. So I think we do have a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and fast forward here. But this is uh, extreme difficulty. This is no mods. Um, I just wanted to kind of have a have a harder of a challenge here. And you know, we might not even make it to uh, Steam. Who knows? We might be only able to afford um, just sailing ships. So let's uh, kind of get this. There we go. Let's build that there. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and put our put our UI here in blueprint mode. And maybe put the marketplace. Let's rotate it a bit. I think the marketplace would be good, right? Right there. Let's put a uh, put a nice road around it. Yep, they are all settling in. That's good. Um, let's get the uh, road down here to connect to the port. And then I think uh, what I wanted to do was put my uh, timber up here, my timber setup up there. So I don't want to take too long on it, but I do want to make sure that I get at least a good uh, productivity rate out of these. So let's uh, go ahead and kind of get that going. So let's get 100% the best we can here. 100% there. And then I can put the warehouse maybe here. Let's get 100% here if we can. Then 100% here. Then I think this might be a little more difficult maybe um, to get a number four in here. There's three, um, how about Let's really try to get this one in a little bit closer. Okay, they will be cutting into each other just a little bit, but that's okay. 
So we'll get an 86% uh, productivity rate at that one, and that is okay. I do like to have these right next to each other so that it's a, it's a little bit quicker to get my timber out. Um, but starting out with four is, is a really good uh, really good way to go about this. Um, but the thing is, is I've seen other people put the sawmills grouped together somewhere else. I don't know if that's like the best way to go about it or not. This is just this is just what I like to do. So let's uh, put this one here. And I don't know what the productivity is going to look like, what the uh, cultivation area is going to look like once I really get these built, but that's okay. So um, let's put this road, I'll just put this road kind of there so that I have a little less area to deal with. Uh, let's go ahead and make that warehouse and blueprint a few houses while we're at this here. Let's blueprint six of them. Like little two by threes, two by twos. Makes it look a little, you know, modular. There, just a one by three there. two by three there. Okay. Let's go ahead and make some of these, uh, two, four, six. Okay. Let's, uh, build the first warehouse. Oh, it's already built. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Let's put that one down. And I think I'll probably wind up with some, uh, yeah, let's build that house. Okay, cool. I'll probably wind up with some lesser than ideal cultivation area here for a lot of these. Um, for these lumber mills and stuff, or these uh, lumberjack huts, but it is what it is when you're kind of working with the, you know, with kind of a low amount of space. So uh, let's go ahead and make another one there. And yeah, we're we're negative 20 as far as workers go, but so we got 93 for this one, for this area here, and we've got um, 92 for that one. And then for these ones, this one will probably be the lowest, but it'll still at least be 70, 80, hopefully. Um, but anyway, as soon as we get some more timber in, we will uh, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. Now let's send our, I like to send my exploration ship kind of in the corners. Um, to just kind of start out, we need to find our friend Archie. We need to find the pirates. Um, we need to find just the other AI in general, because we will get some really good quests out of it. Well, hopefully we get some good quests. We'll see. Um, so our population's doing well. We just discovered Alonzo. Uh, we we're now at we're now at a, a balance of workforce here. We're at zeroed out. So at least we're not negative. So our lumberjack huts and our sawmills are staffed. So we should probably go ahead and do that. And build some more. Number check cut here is 91%. That looks really good. Really, really good. So let's uh, kind of fast forward this here. So we can get our exploration going. Kind of move up here. That way we can get our timber really going to upgrade my houses. Now normally I don't recommend going fast, but uh, in the beginning here, it's really, you know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad to do it. Um, simply because there's not a whole lot that can go wrong right away, unless of course you send your you send your ship into the pirates, then it's a really bad thing. This is kind of a nice island here, Hops and uh, Niter. That is actually pretty good. It's got a lot of area too. It's got like just as much, if not more, than my uh, starting island here. So that one we might look to get later. All right, we have 17 timber already. Let's really upgrade that. And Admiral Vicente Silva, here we are. Our, this is our uh, twin brother, because we have the same uh, portrait as him. And uh, let's move on to the south. There's an island, yep, right here. So I'll tell my ship to go on top of the mountain. <laughs> All right, Lady Margaret Hunt, perfect. 
pin you down, huh? Why would I want to do that? That is, that is gross. Photography quest. Wait, where is the ship of the line? Is it? Oh, it's up in that corner over there. Okay. Well, let's send my. Uh, let's turn around here and get my ship to go over there. Ah, our friend Archie. Perfect. And I can go ahead and take this picture. Perfect. Now let's slow this down a bit because we probably have a lot of timber. Yep. We sure do. All right, so upgrade that. We will get our fish going. Kind of build the road on top too. All right, let's get some more houses blueprinted in here. We'll do a two by three. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not making things too. Uh, too modular, really. At least I don't want to. I don't mind it though. Okay, it's uh, connected. Let's do a two by two. There. I like kind of like these random designs with the houses because it just, I don't know, it adds like a, it's like adds a better touch to it. So there's some farmers there. Let's blueprint some more. Okay. There. All right. Now that we've uh, we're able to get a pub, let's do that. Make sure we have all the coverage we need for it. All right, and now we're at the point where we need schnapps and worker clothes. So I have kind of an idea already of what I want to do with that. So I would like to, um, actually, we still have a, uh, there we go. So what would be the cultivation area for this one? I'm hoping it's at least 80%. That would be fantastic. Fantastic start to our town. Um, let's go take a look at our command ship. What does Archie have? He has timber. And some items. I'm not gonna buy timber right now. I'm just gonna keep that. Uh, keep the timber. I'm just gonna let let his shop sit there for a minute because I'm hoping he gets steel beams later on. And when he does, um, I'll be able to request that, or I'll be able to uh, get buy some from him. At least that's the idea. All right. Let's move our ship right along here. Let's go there. Let's get our camera kind of situated back up again. Okay. And let's rename this town. I've had I've had a, a thing for Assassin's Creed Odyssey lately, so um, as you know, that's kind of a Greek themed, so I want to name my islands after like a Greek, just a Greek island. So I think uh, Heraklion would be a good name for this one. Let's uh, get some more population in here. There we go. And uh, as you can see, we're still waiting on cultivation for that, so let's fast forward things a bit. Kind of get our exploration moving a little faster and uh, get the timber moving a little bit faster. Let's kind of move our ship down there. Maybe we'll discover Anne Harlow. We haven't discovered her yet, obviously. Otherwise, our ship would probably be fired at. But that's not going. Okay, what do we have here? A resident quest? Puzzle quest, what do we have? Collect farmer's husband. Probably at the pub. Uh, absolutely he is. With his friends. Alright. Now what do we get out of that? Hopefully something uh, a little decent. Equipping ships. Self-repair plus 100%. That is perfect for our ship. So I will bring our ship right on up there. Okay. And uh, I think I want to put the fire station more here. So those houses will just be deleted. Um, and I think it will fit. Absolutely. Let's upgrade that. Because, you know, in extreme difficulty, the fire and the just the bad instances of uh, destruction happen more frequently. So it's good to kind of have this, have this ready. 
So I do have an idea where I want to put some of my farming and industry, stuff like that. And I do want to put it kind of over here. So I'm not going to expand my, uh, my housing anymore this way. Um, it's going to be, this is going to be mostly my industry. So what I want to do is put my road kind of like this because the clay pit sits right on it, the clay deposit. So I want to put this uh, warehouse right across there. Put my sheep farm. Put my sheep farm probably right uh, Right there. There, that works great. And then, so for this I kind of have planned, what I want to do is put my potatoes to kind of fill up this back area here. Yeah, just like that. Put them right next to each other. That way I can use up every bit of space on my island and not feel like like I'm not using every bit of space. It's just it's just so much more important when your fertilities are low and you know, space is a more valuable commodity in this uh in this mode of play. So, you know, it's kind of necessary. Another potato farm here. I really love the music of this game. It's very, it's very relaxing. Until of course you, uh, you hear in the background that there's a fire in your town or something. So uh, that's blueprinted. I'm hoping I'm just gonna fit as many potato farms as I can in here. So there's 72 modules there. I'm really trying to max out all the modules. Because I see, like, sometimes the AI doesn't do it. And then and also in the wiki, uh, there's a lot of builds that don't have a max maximum. So. All right. And let's see if we can put one more. I'm hoping that we can. Yes, we absolutely can. And then maybe put a fire station here. Okay, so we have uh, six here. So what I'd like to do is put the distilleries right next to each other. Maybe um, a warehouse here. Because, I mean, eventually these warehouses will be so stuffed that they won't be able to handle it. So that's why I want to put this warehouse just right you know, right up next to it. Um, right up next to my schnapps production. Let's uh, set our steel beams to buy, because we will need those in the future. Of course we need them in the future, but in the immediate future we will need some, simply because we want to expand our island as fast as possible. Let's put the self-repair item in there. So the mate increases self-repair by 100%, which is incredible in case I get into a battle or something. And I need to, uh, if I win that battle, <laughs> that is, then I can repair. Um, let's send this guy to kind of the corner here. And uh, also keep an eye out for quests because those will be very, very helpful for our income. So let's uh, get, we have worker clothes going. Let's go ahead and get the schnapps going here. So we can check out our demands now and see kind of how things are going. So for our products here, we are already kind of butted up against work clothes and uh, schnapps. So I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and make make another. We'll go ahead and make another uh, worker clothes production chain here. So put a sheep farm there. Yeah, let's put it right, right there. Yep. There in that way, it'll uh, it'll put it to that framework knitters, and then they'll just drop it off. So that lo that's looking good. Let's go ahead and make another uh, schnapps production. 
and then with that, okay, we'll put some fish down too, and then uh, with that we will be able to go ahead and uh, really expand our farmer population out. As soon as they get their snaps and worker clothes, they will be very, very pleased with what's going on here. What's what? Yeah, with what's going on here and uh, Heraklion. I really like that name. A lot of the Greek names are really cool from those uh, from those islands. I wonder how they named those back then. You know, like they just came to a consensus on what what sounded the best, or like a Greek word for what was what natural resources found there more often, or I don't know. Don't know how that worked. Let's get some more farmers' residences here. Let's do a two by two there, two by two here, and. Uh, I, I realize that I get a little bit of stutter or maybe a little frame drop when I scroll around or something. And um, I think that's just because, you know, I have a little bit older of a graphics card, but when I'm able to afford a better graphics card, I will uh, get that and my videos will be probably a lot crisper, more, a lot more crisp. And uh, also, I will be picking up a new mic, so my audio will sound a little better too. Because I know, I know that uh, that doesn't sound the greatest right now. But as my YouTube channel expands, you know, as I get more support, I'll, uh, I'll feel a lot more confident about really upgrading that stuff. You know, but maybe, I don't know, maybe that's not the right attitude to take with uh, with a YouTube channel. Maybe I should just, you know, front load the, the expenses, but I don't know. It's all right. You know, I'm sticking with it, and uh, I'm happy with what's going on on my channel so far. I'm getting some, you know, I'm getting some support, and I am getting some views here and there, so it feels good, and... You know, I'm taking the approach that I just love doing this. I love playing Anno. I love, uh, I love gaming in general, and I just want to share it with people. You know, share like my passion. Um, so that's a pretty good island. That's uh, red peppers and hides. And then hides and niter at that island. Let's see what else we've got here. Ah, uh, we have uh, hops and peppers. This island will be extremely important. That's actually a pretty decent size. That's a, yeah, that's a pretty good size. So what else do we have here? Oh, I think, yep, that's the pirates there. And the reason you can tell is because there's this uh, kind of, like, inlet bay in there. And then you see this uh, kind of four squares through the fog. That is definitely pirate territory. So um, let's bring our... Uh, ship kind of up here and explore a little bit of different areas. So we have 75 timber, we're maxed out on that. So let's uh, go ahead and build all those houses. Let's build some more here. At least blueprint some more. That'll make me feel like, uh, feel like I actually am ready to support some more population. So we have two fire stations in our town total, and I think that one by my uh, my kind of in industry slash uh, farming area is actually able to reach some of my residents. Let's check that out. And yeah, it can it can reach this whole side, so that's going to help a lot in the future. So let's go ahead and build a two by two here. There, it makes me feel good to have that blueprinted out already. And then we have room here for a police station and a church. That is, uh, that's really good to have. So what's our needs looking like now? Looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's, uh, let's kind of get that maxed out. 31. There. Now we will see... Okay, so we, we are, uh, we're really buttoned up to our, uh, supply here with demand. So as you can see here, the demand bar is in blue, and the current is 3 out of 3 demand, and uh, 3 out of 3 demand for schnapps and clothing as well. And then the more people I make, the more demand increases, and the more my supply is taxed, and the green bar is supply. And then, uh, so the supply is really under strain when, when it's uh, matched. So that's, so right now we are getting a small, small surplus on some things, but, um, but that, that will change as we get more population, obviously. 
So uh, Lady Margaret Hunt here has a quest for us. So Miss Hunt, what do you have? A delivery quest for 2000 Perfect. And she wants uh, work clothes. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. So we need 27 tons of work clothes. So that, that uh, well, not too happy about that. Let's see if we can do it though. Um, so we are we have a surplus of work clothes already. So maybe maybe we can do this. Let's just let's just make ourselves a surplus, you know. Yeah, let's put one there. One there. And one sheep farm, I guess. Yeah, see the warehouse is kind of awkward because it extends a block out, so it's not, not everything's a straight line here. So we have one sheep farm, we have two out of three there. So let's just put it there, I guess. Uh, that'll be fine. So let's uh, make a road there so it's a little easier and then uh, let's upgrade that there let's just make a ton of work clothes I'll need them in the future anyway so let's just make them now um, and with that we should probably go ahead and make some more farmers residence we can probably butt them up against here yeah let's do that against this ridge Yeah, let's move it there. And this works well because uh, I'm also kind of back from the shoreline a bit, and that way my shoreline buildings aren't going to be interfering with my housing and vice versa. So I wonder if I can fit a little house right here. I sure can. Perfect. So let's uh, get those houses built. There we go. So we're looking good. Our population is 934. That's looking really, really good. Sorry about that if you if you heard that, by the way. Um, so our supply is 8, demand is 4 for work clothes. So it looks like we should be able to... We should be able to have plenty of work clothes by then. So let's upgrade some schnapps. And... Uh, Looking good. Looking pretty good so far. We actually can probably upgrade to some workers. Yeah, we can already. Happy farmers. Because I just built those ones, so, you know, obviously they're not going to be full up yet and ready to upgrade. But um, I do want to build those clay pits soon. So what do we need, really, to upgrade to workers? We need sausages. We need, we'll need bread as well. But um, our demands are looking just fine, so we might be able to go ahead and support some workers. Um, what do we have here? So we have nine tons of worker clothes. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade some workers. Upgrade to some workers. There we go. So now that that is available, we can blueprint uh, a clay pit. There we go. Blueprinted that. And then now we might be able to build a few things up here. So um, we might be able to go ahead and build this. I think we can. Yeah, it only takes, only takes four timber. And uh, this takes eight. So we're all set for that we can start our brick production already. And yeah, let's uh, look at the press. So happiness and light. So everything actually looks good for now. Um, just publish that paper. And yes, they are surprised I'm letting it reflect the truth, of course. So the production uh, is going good on the schnapps. Honestly, everything's looking pretty good so far. Let's uh, take a look at what we have uh, with our surplus here. Let's uh, go ahead and speed it up, though. So upgrade, uh, 
upgrade the brick factory. Oh, and we have a kind of a negative here going of workers. So let's uh, let's fix that. Perfect. So you convert. I convert that whole house to workers, and that gave me uh, it gave me a surplus of plus thirty. So now both of my brick factories are working. I can upgrade to some more workers. And looks like what I have here is I'm almost ready to give Miss Hunt my surplus of work clothes. So let me just kind of put that in normal speed real quick. So my production is uh, still eight, uh, supply is eight, um, demand is four. So I do need uh, sausages and bread. So let's kind of prepare that. And maybe I can do this. Let's see, I'll put the um, pig farm in there. Put the pig farm there. Slaughterhouse. Actually, let's uh, put these pig farms here. Put two of them there. There we go. Maybe put a firehouse here. Would that fit? Yeah, it would. Again, just to be safe, because I don't want all this stuff to burn up. There. And I can go ahead and probably, let's see, we have four bricks coming in. We have four bricks in already. So sausages, the slaughterhouse takes five. So I can really, I can actually just uh, put a couple slaughterhouses here. I'll put two up here along with a uh, warehouse probably. Unless that would, that would maybe be a waste. No, it wouldn't because all these are so loaded already. So let's uh, put a warehouse here. It only takes a uh, maintenance cost of 20. It's not really a big deal. So yeah, let's put it right there. Put a road here so this framework knitter can actually use this. All right, let's build that one. And then let's at least blueprint a couple slaughterhouses. So I can build one now. Let's build a uh, pig farm now. And then we'll build a slaughterhouse now too. So that way our sausages are coming in nice. Maybe we can consider bread too this episode. I think we might. But for now, um, oh actually, we do have a surplus of work clothes. So let's bring uh, 27 tons. All right, 27 is in our flagship. And let's take that up to uh, Miss Hunt. Hopefully that'll, uh, hopefully that'll, yeah, that'll arrive on time. That'll be good. So we have 29 timber. Let's go ahead and upgrade, upgrade. That is the goal here is to get as many workers as we can. But I think we're doing really good for this episode already. I mean, we're, um, you know, I, I want to do this as a long form episode, but, you know, we're a little over 30 minutes in and we've already upgraded to workers. It's going really, really well. Um, and then once we make this pig farm, we'll be all set to uh, to build that slaughterhouse too. Um, but maybe if I built this now, I could, um, let's build that now. So that way I can get a surplus of sausages and maybe sell them. The only problem is, is my bricks are just a tad slow, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's let them unload here, speed it up a bit. And then go ahead and build that slaughterhouse. Perfect. But it appears, okay, they're unloading the pigs now. So that should be, that should be fine. I don't know why they're taking the pigs all the way up there. That's kind of strange. I don't know why they can't just drop it off in this warehouse, you know, and, and take it from this one. I don't know what they're doing. But it looks like, uh, let's see. We are not at war with anyone yet. Oh, because we haven't discovered Anne Harlow, of course. So we should probably make our way over there and discover her in a little bit. 
So workers are looking okay. Let's um oh, are we in a fight? No we are not. Um what's going on? Fire? Oh yeah, that is definitely a fire. Let's uh mobilize. By the way, when your when your happiness is maxed out in a town you can mobilize uh at a fire station or a police station and they will uh send out additional units to take care of it. So it's kinda nice. Um yeah, so that will be taken care of here. Let's uh, let's see if I can. How many can I support here? All right, cool. Got some more workers. Buildings unlocked, so I unlocked soap, weapons, uh, steel beams, and the church. Yeah, let's blueprint the church for sure, at least here. So let's. Uh, kind of put the road there. Well, you know what? Yeah, I think that's a good spot. That'll be fine. It'll be fine for the church. The workers need it for the... Um, I do not want the quest for that to pop up. Or to... Uh, I don't want to do that right now, so I'll decline it. Yep, hand in that quest to Miss Hunt. So that is a nice, nice, cool 2,000 for us. Um, and Miss Harlow, I think, is going to be right here. Yeah, yeah, because we, we established earlier that that is where she is. So let's uh, kind of get close, but not too close. Um, let's see what this quest is here. A gift for me, huh? What is the gift? Right there? Okay. Ollie's gift. What do you have for me, Ollie? Waiting to see what the reward is. Okay. But looking looking good, looking very good. Production wise, we're doing well. We're we need more fish and we will need more schnapps soon as well. But we do have some steel beams now from Archie. He must have brought them to us. That is that's really good. Thankful for that. Let's go ahead and build on another clay deposit because the more bricks we have, the just the better off. Better off we'll be. The quicker we'll be able to send our town into uh, production mode. But maybe let's put um. I could put them here, but then that would also I could also use that room for other stuff. So yeah, let's put the uh, let's put the bricks here then something maybe I can put some houses back here or something I'm not too sure what I could put back there so let's uh, put the warehouse here too there and now we can upgrade to get more bricks perfect now that we have two bricks going, I think we were, we're all set for bricks for a while. At least until we start really breaking up all our roads. But we should have enough for the church like pretty soon. Um, it looks like we're about to stumble upon Miss Harlow here. Yeah. So just to stay away from her. Yep. Here we go. Here we go with the uh, with the cannon fire. Let's get away from her. Okay. Good, good. Good stuff. So I'll send my ship up here to this unexplored area. Um, and I think we should probably change some of our production here. Yep, so we do need more fish. Let's build more fish. Put it right there. So that way our fish is satisfied. Our demand for fish is satisfied. And then uh, what are we, else are we getting close on here? Uh, schnapps will be getting close pretty soon. So let's go ahead and make another potato farm, another distillery. And we probably will be upgrading this soon. It costs 20 bricks, but uh, you know, that's just how it is. Um, let's take the farmer's residences and put some more up here. I think 
yeah, let's put uh, let's put some here. Let's put a nice, nice longer, longer little module of them. Well, sounds like we have an, yet another fire. Oh yeah, it's out here. Let's mobilize them again. The fires are getting pretty common here. Not too happy about that. But I think what I want to do with the next amount of bricks is uh, go ahead and build a church with it. It costs 25, but that'll be okay. We have since we have two brick factories going now, it's it'll be a breeze to supply that. We already have 14 anyway. So since we have five uh, steel beams, we're on our way to having enough for soap, I believe. The total for soap production, steel beams that you need, is um, is 12. 12 or 16. I'm not too sure uh, which which that would be. But um, we'll be ready for it, I think. Hopefully, hopefully Archibald will uh, supply us with everything we need. All right, so there we go. That's quite a bit more uh, farmers' houses for us. And right now we're we kind of lost out on some. Our number might be a little lower because of this uh, workforce here. The workforce is taken away by uh, by fires. I mean, they do come back, but it just kind of has a has a damper effect on your town. So once again, let's check this out. So schnapps, we're having a pretty big surplus of work clothes and schnapps. I don't even, I don't even know if we'll, we'll probably sell some of it to be honest, because uh, we don't have a ton of space here for population. And I think what I want to do is put bread here, anyway, like a nice bread production. So I think we'll blueprint that out now. Let's uh, do. I think let's put a warehouse here. Let's put, uh, let's see, the uh, flour mill takes bricks, yeah. So the grain farm, I think the grain farm will be okay if I put some grain field there. Yeah, I'll put some here. There. Then I'll put the road here. Then maybe I'll put another grain farm here too. Because you want to have two grain farms, one flour mill, and two bakeries. So if I put the grain farm here. I can probably just butt this right up against my town. Because I want to put soap in here as well, so I'm going to try to squeeze in as much as I can. There. That's actually 144 modules, so that looks that looks great. Let's put that there put the uh, road around the warehouse, and then blueprint the uh, bakeries. So that'll be two. Looks like our bread is set to go here. Um, and this is really jam-packed industry, but I mean, that's how you have to do it on these islands. Um, looks like he brought us some more steel beams. That's perfect. We almost have enough for our soap production entirely. So let's uh, blueprint our church, or build our church since we had enough for that. Build our farmer's residence here. Just, just one. <laughs> um, let's build this road here, and then maybe blueprint some trees here. I want to build those trees, because that makes it makes it look a lot, a lot nicer, a lot neater. Neat, neater, whatever the word is for that. A lot more neat. There we go. So I will be looking to upgrade these warehouses here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's it's looking, uh, other than a few up, unupgraded things, um, I need to upgrade these roads coming up here very soon to really get the coverage I need. And 
also your surfaces move quicker. Like if you put down brick roads here, your fire your fire engines well, they're not really engines, but the fire carriages will move a lot faster. Like they'll just speed around your town. So pretty excited about that. I haven't had any more quests lately. I'm kinda really really looking for those, but um hey, if we AI doesn't have them. I'm not getting them. Maybe Sir Archie will have some too pretty soon. He doesn't have any uh, ships for me. But he does have some bricks. That might be nice to buy some of those. But I don't want to do that until I have, you know, actually a really solid amount of money. Because it does cost like 2000 I think, to make soap. And, uh, oh, Mr. Silva has a delivery quest for us. Ha! <laughs> Pick up at Graves Clipper. Sinister looking steak. Sinister looking steak? That's weird. Some compensation to a woman in the area whose husband appears to have met with injury whilst working in the factory. Since when does this guy care about being kind to anyone? He usually seems pretty rude and psychotic. So the bakery takes five. Uh, I think we can actually go ahead with the... Um, with the with the grain, they'll make a bakery too. So uh, yeah, those will be ready to go. Bread will be on its way. And as soon as we get a couple more bricks, I'll finish off that bakery. All we need is one more. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Oh no, we we actually we need money. Okay. All right then. Um, maybe we should upgrade some more workers then. Yeah. Let's do that. Need more timber for it. So really that's all we're waiting on is timber and uh, money. So my ship is on its way down to pick up the sinister looking steak. So weird. Then once we complete that quest, we should we'll be getting uh like almost five thousand gold from him. So that'll be super helpful. Um, let's let's keep on moving. Upgrade more and more workers. Let's upgrade these. Okay, that's good. Brought our income up a bit. Let's pick up that cargo. Sinister looking steak, and I guess I have to bring it here. So my ship will be moving there pretty quickly. And the timber is pretty much rolling in now. That's good. More and more workers. And then what I want to do too is put maybe a market and a pub and a few things here so that we have our second population center. And then we'll have to look to other islands to expand because, uh, you know, we're really, really kind of using a lot of our space here. I think I'd say 50% of our island is already used up just from us, from, from our building. So I want to put a road here. And then maybe I might be able to fit like a, uh, like a sheep or something back here. I think that'd be really nice. So what do we have here? Just a oh, small little island. So let's bring that up. We are looking really good though. Our profit is uh, up 400. It's not <laughs> our money is not in the not in the toilet right now. So that's a good sign. Looks like our bread. They're really chewing through our bread too. Look at that. There we just made our bread production and it's already matched. So. Let's uh, let's actually get our soap production down. We are approaching the 50 minute mark, and I would like to keep my videos kind of to around 50 minutes, because um, I do like the long form. I don't like having 20, 30 minute videos that I just have to kind of change through all the time. But who knows? Who knows what's actually better, but or what people prefer? I mean, if if you would like to let me know what you prefer, that'd be great. I'll uh, I would definitely see what I can. What I can do about keeping it to a length that you guys do prefer. 
So let's put a let's blueprint two rendering works and then a soap factory right there. Let's uh, kind of road that off. And then I want to blueprint some pig farms here. Put one there. Yeah, let's deliver that cargo. 4,440. That's wonderful. Absolutely. And it looks like Archie has a quest for us. Perfect. I'm excited about that. What do you have? A pickup quest. Okay. That's great. Castaways. Um, Alright, so... Looks like we're Heraclean's doing really well. Our population is almost 1,700 already. Our, uh, our balance is actually in the positive, plus 423. And uh, with the upgrade of that bakery there, it went down a little bit, but uh, that's, that's the cost of uh, civilization here. And then here we'll put a police station, but overall the game is doing really well. I am surviving. Um, I'm not dead yet. That is fantastic. Um, but I wanted to say, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoy my content, I'd appreciate a like and a share, a subscribe, whatever you want to do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.